How many of you have seen this? Ever heard of it? Google it. Read its wiki page. It is a war movie, yet it's anti-war. From an Eastern perspective, it stands as one of the most important of its kind. Ilam Klimov's Come and See. We follow a boy in war-torn Belarusia. He finds a rifle in a trench and is eager to join the Russian resistance against his mother's wishes. What happens next is staggering. <sighs> Certain moments puts it on par with the deer hunter and apocalypse now. This line on the IMDB by Peter Patrick 76 describing our main character turning from a cheerful teenager to a grey haired old man for two days. The scenes of war, the sound, the stream of bullets, panic and paranoia. War has been seen through countless eyes, with countless stories from all over the world. The first-hand experience through the eyes of a kid who wants to play his part against the evil invaders, I don't think has been captured in a more devastating way. Alexei Kravchenko, who was 14 at the time, given one of the finest youth performances ever. Emotions translated so well, like he's a seasoned professional, like Martin Sheen and Robert De Niro. Original and retrospective responses to this movie have remained consistent with positivity and continues to make greatest movies ever lists. Reading its wiki page, this stuck with me. During one of the after the film discussions, an elderly German man stood up and said, I was a soldier of the Wehrmacht. Moreover, an officer of the Wehrmacht. I traveled through all of Poland and Belarus, finally reaching Ukraine. I will testify everything that is told in this film is the truth. And the most frightening and shameful thing for me is that this film will be seen by my children and grandchildren. I had heard about its reputation before I saw it last year. It can never prepare you, regardless if you're desensitized to war in television, movies and documentaries. But that aside, it deserves an audience. But when it comes to war movies with devastating scenes, it's brushed away in favour of the Spielberg double, Schindler's List and Saving Private Ryan, particularly the latter. The scene where the boy is in a field with a cow and bullets are just flying all around him gives a similar emotion to that of the opening to Saving Private Ryan. Then you turn to the scenes in the village, the atrocity that unfolds in front of the boy, so mortified having to pose with soldiers with a gun pressed to his temple. That will stay with me for a long time. It is a 
remarkable piece and truly a movie you have to see before you die. And I'm not surprised that director Klimov didn't make any movies after this. How could you? How could you? Oh, <laughs> yeah.